Tomorrow is setting up to be anything but a normal day at many South Florida schools. This student walkout today likely to be replicated over and over in protest for better gun safety laws. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live in downtown Miami where school leaders are ready to respond. Amber. Good evening to you both. Rick Rudabay, we've learned some school administrations are supporting students' right to protest, while others feel they'll be a bit disruptive and actually go against school policy. Still, students and parents say they'll find a way to be heard. New lessons learned Tuesday, but not in the classroom. How are you going to give an AR-15 to some, to a 19-year-old? We shouldn't be giving out military guns. Now kids in many schools want to follow suit after the already hundreds, if not thousands, walked out of schools across the state in protest, all wanting restrictions on guns. I hope um, Donald Trump and uh, the government hears us and tries to make some change, man. In Boca Raton, our Lisa Petrillo watched as students dropped their books and bags and held signs as they walked 12 miles to Stoneman Douglas High School. Miami Beach Senior High School wants to be next, turning their grief into action. Students met at Miami Beach City Hall Tuesday afternoon to talk business. Mayor Dan Gelber and his daughter Hannah. We will continue these walkouts until something happens because we are terrified students and we do not know how to handle it without someone who, someone protecting us. The young people who are smart, uh, they know what they want, uh, they know what they're not getting, they know what they need, and I think they're going to realize that the way you express yourself in this country is, is by words and at the ballot box. We've learned through parents that Miami Beach Senior High is one of a few schools where the administration is not supporting the walkout. Parents tell me they'll still follow their kids and march. Miami-Dade Public Schools said of students on Tuesday they must express their opinions respectfully without disrupting the educational environment or violating school rules. Broward County Public Schools also responded to the ongoing walkout saying in part, BCPS encourages peaceful and lawful protest only. Any violations of the student code of conduct will be handled by individual schools. Back out here live in downtown Miami, there are several schools planning those walks tomorrow, including schools in Hialeah, South Plantation, and Fort Lauderdale. Live in downtown Miami, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News, tonight. Amber, thank you. Broward